the intent of you know some of the reform legislation you guys did back after Tennessee Waltz was to not allow uh, public officials to be collecting their pension if they're convicted of wrongdoing in office and how that applies here. And uh, I think the, the one of the key words is convicted. It, it was our feeling that uh, that people that, that uh, pled guilty to to crimes should be included with within that. Uh, and the statutes uh, do allow for diversion. And this is usually for, of course, a first-time offender, which he was, but not for first first time repeat offenders of, of very dangerous crimes and I think distribution of drugs and uh, purchasing of drugs uh, using uh, one's office to to facilitate that I think is is probably the worst of the worst uh, there are exceptions uh, in the diversion statutes for uh, certain aggravated sex crimes and other other uh, class A, uh, for example, murder, things like that. So I, we're looking at, at going at changing the law in two directions. One, the diversion statute, and putting in there the color of office crimes, uh, using one's office in an inappropriate manner would not be considered for diversion, which it should not. And second is spelling out that in addition to conviction, an individual that pleads guilty or plead, has a NOLA plea or uh, is found guilty by, by a jury or by a judge, that that would be uh, grounds for suspension of the individual's pension.